One segment of 5G networks has increasingly found itself at the forefront of 5G policy and industry discussions in the United States and around the world. The RAN, Radio Access Network. Why? The RAN is currently home to three related but distinct technological transformations. Virtualized RAN, sometimes called VRAN, Cloud RAN, or CRAN, and Open RAN. You may have heard these three terms evoked in the same sentence or even used interchangeably, but they are not synonyms. To make sense of this alphabet soup, let's take a look at the components of a 5G network. In its simplest form, a mobile network is comprised of the core network, the radio access network, or RAN, transport or backhaul between the two, and end-user devices such as sensors and smartphones. A traditional RAN features a cell tower with an antenna on top and a base station. The base station has two main components, the remote radio unit, RRU, and the baseband unit, BBU. The base station converts incoming signals from end-user devices into data that can then be transmitted to the core network using terrestrial network cables or satellites and vice versa. With virtualized RAM, these BBUs transition from a combination of bespoke or purpose-built hardware and software that work together in tandem to carry out particular network functions, to software running on commercial off-the-shelf hardware. Now the tasks of the BBU can be carried out at the software level with virtual network functions. This is where Cloud RAN enters the conversation. Once you have virtualized the functionality of your BBU, you can now move those functions using containers around your network. This allows 5G providers to centralize baseband functionality across a smaller number of sites, or BBU pools, rather than having to keep that functionality in close proximity to each remote radio unit. This centralization of BBUs into pools is why Cloud RAN is also sometimes called Centralized RAN. Open RAN enters the conversation when people begin to ask, do all these various base station components, including the hardware and software, need to be purchased as a black box, an integrated proprietary system from a single vendor? Or can a telecom operator shop around across a variety of vendors and build out their RAN with a diversity of products? In order to make that possible, to break apart those black boxes into smaller components and disaggregate the RAN, Open RAN focuses on creating standardized and interoperable interfaces. This is frequently referred to as open interfaces between systems in the radio access network. Opening interfaces will encourage a greater number of players at each level of the network, since companies can specialize in subcomponents rather than having to build out end-to-end -end solutions. Notably, this is why OpenRAN, unlike VRAN and CRAN, also has potential geopolitical implications. Today, there are only a handful of vendors that can offer an integrated end-to-end -end network at scale, and none of them are American. While US vendors do hold dominant market positions in most of the segments, the U.S. does not currently have a RAN equipment vendor that can meet the needs of the U.S. market. We are not alone in that regard. The RAN is the least vendor-diverse segment of the network stack. Through open interfaces, open RAN proponents hope to see a diversity of vendors emerge, simultaneously alleviating economic and national security concerns that arise from a monoculture of vendors. Whether we will see this outcome in practice, however, is just as dependent on economics and business preferences as it is on technology. Just because it may be increasingly possible to mix and match vendors by leveraging open interfaces does not necessarily mean that the market will support a large number of vendors in the RAN or that the network operators themselves will choose to select a diversity of vendors over an integrated proprietary solution. So the next time you hear someone evoke VRAN, CRAN, and OpenRAN in the same sentence, remember, these are three related but distinct processes. 
with the exception of Cloud RAN, which relies on virtualization, any given 5G network could feasibly feature one, two, or all three.